Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Josiah. And... Eton. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Martin Van Buren from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Green slime. Stinky fish jello. Smelly cheese spray and crackers. Pickle juice spray. Sauerkraut. Shaving foam. Mystery eggs. Hidden messes. And a pie in the face. Before we play, Martin Van Buren was the eighth president of the United States. He shared the political views of Thomas Jefferson, favoring the rights of states over a strong federal government. Van Buren worked closely with Andrew Jackson and helped create the modern political party. He was unpopular as president because he struggled to respond to the Panic of 1837. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yes. yes. Where the youngest player goes first. Everybody, put your hands in the bowl. You must keep your hands in the bowl for the entire game. If you take them out, you do lose a point. Understood? Awesome. Question number one goes to Eton. As a supporter of Thomas Jefferson, Martin Van Buren strongly believed in the rights of what? A, animals. B, states. C, kings. B, states. States is correct. Early in his career, Van Buren supported Jefferson's Democratic Republican Party, which sought to protect the rights of states by limiting the power of the federal government. The Democratic Republicans opposed the Federalist Party, which felt the nation needed a stronger federal government at the time. Looky here. We got some nice nuclear slime. Do you like slime? Why do you like slime? <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Play with it. Fair enough. Well, here you go. And three, two, one. Oh, it's so like <laughs> thick and creamy. <laughs> Mix it around, what's it feel like? It's disgusting. I thought you liked slime. Not this. See, that's why you have to be careful what you wish for, because in this game, you'll almost always get it. Ugh, there's slime on my hands. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Question number two goes to Josiah. As Van Buren got more involved in politics, what did he become very effective at organizing? A, political machines, B, debates, or C, birthday parties? B, debates. That is incorrect. Let's see if Etan can steal it. As Van Buren got more involved in politics, what did he become very effective at organizing? A, political machines, B, debates, C, birthday parties? A, political machines. That is correct, political machines. While Van Buren served in the New York State Senate, he organized the Democratic Republican Party into a political machine that had a strong influence over the state's politics. He later did the same thing with the Democratic Party under President Andrew Jackson. I've got the perfect idea. Yes. Do you like Jello? Yes. What about Disgusting. stinky fish Jello? Yes. Oh, if a fish from the sea ever smells like this, throw it right back in the ocean, because this is foul. <laughs> Take a sniff. Just a little bit. Fine. Just a little bit, please. OK, how about you take a smell? It smells good. You like it? <laughs> really? Oh, we all got our own taste, I suppose. First start with a little bit of sauce for you. It's, it's warm. It's melting the It's warm? Sky. I don't think it's supposed to be warm. Ew. And there he goes. There he goes. Fish out of water. Ew. I can smell it from here. Well, how about you smell it from here? <laughs> no. Question number three goes to Etan. Which president did Van Buren work closely with and serve under as vice president? Andrew Jackson. That is... Correct, Andrew Jackson. Van Buren was a close friend and advisor of President Andrew Jackson. He served as Jackson's Secretary of State and Vice President. He was also Jackson's chosen successor as president. I think we should start with some nice smelly cheese. I wanted that. You wanted this? Mm -hmm. You is like smelly cheese, cheese spray? Isn't cheese supposed to smell good? Not when it's about 15 years old and in a can. Ugh. Let's give you a little cheese. First, you gotta smile. You gotta say cheese. 
cheese. Okay. A little bit on your shoulder. A little bit here. And maybe just a little bit up here. <laughs> Give you a nice little hat. And more for your arms, some for the fish. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do. Listen closely. So oddly satisfying. <laughs> and now, turn you into a polka dotted Lunchable. <laughs> I am quite the chef, aren't I? <laughs> the smelly cheese chef. <laughs> the smelly cheese chef. You really are a Lunchable now. <laughs> Next question goes to Josiah. Question number four. Which political party did Van Buren and President Andrew Jackson organize? A, Whig Party, B, Tea Party, C, Democratic Party. C, Democratic Party. That is correct. It looks like you got your payback after all. Together, Jackson and Van Buren organized their supporters and created the Democratic Party. The party appealed to the common man and became popular. They were so successful that their opponents, the Whig Party, copied many of their strategies to win elections. Nothing better than to fill your bowl up with some yeah. good old pickles. I always wondered, if Peter Piper picked a pickle, would he spray kids with it on Guess or Mess? <laughs> I don't know, but I will. Here we go. <laughs> Ew, it's so cold. It so is put cold. a pickle on his head. Oh, they said, I don't think it'll stay there. Yeah, it smells kind of good. It does? You're welcome then. Making it smell like good old dill pickles. Just pour the entire jar in. You want the entire jar? <laughs> Your wish is my command. Put the pickles. <laughs> and the pickle for you. And another one for you. What's that sound? I don't, I don't know. know. That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, each of you get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your Martin Van Buren digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Etan. What island near New York City had the busiest immigration station in the United States during the early 20th century? A, Liberty Island, B, Long Island, or C, Ellis Island? B, Long Island. That is incorrect. Let's see if Josiah can steal it. What island near New York City had the busiest immigration station in the United States during the early 20th century? A, Liberty Island, B, Long Island, or C, Ellis Island? A, Liberty Island. That is incorrect. Oh. The answer is Ellis Island. From 1892 to 1954, 12 million immigrants arrived in Ellis Island to start a new life in America. It is the most famous immigration station in U.S. history and a symbol of the American dream. Today, it is a historic site, welcoming about 3 million tourists per year. Do you guys like bugs? It's worms or something. Oh, it's gross, all right, I'll tell you that. Can you give it to Josiah first? Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, I'll give it to Josiah first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep your hands he in those to take, I'll, I'll lose a point. <laughs> he has sacrificed the point. And Josiah, it's a nice little, oh, you're fearless. You're not afraid of worms and bugs? Wow, you're a tough kid. I mean, at least have two fingers in there. <laughs> no, no more bugs. <laughs> okay. We'll give you a little more. Stir up those bowls. Make some insect pudding. <laughs> He's got two fingers stirring the bowl. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Josiah. Who is the only president to serve more than two terms? Um... Any guesses? Wasn't it... T t t uh, wait, Teddy... Then maybe... Time's up. Oh. Let's see if Etan can steal it. Etan. Teddy Roosevelt? Oh, you're so close. The correct answer is Franklin D. Roosevelt. 
President Franklin D. Roosevelt became the first president to win a third term in 1940. Prior to Roosevelt's tenure, no president had served a third term, but he ran a third term because of the emergency situation brought about by World War II. After Roosevelt died, the 22nd Amendment limited all future presidents to only two full terms. Ooh, this smells foul. What Why is always me first? You don't want to smell it? No. Okay, let's let Josiah smell it first. <laughs> let's see how it feels. Oh, it's, it smells like SpaghettiOs. SpaghettiOs? I wish it was SpaghettiOs. It is almost lunchtime, you know. Oh, no, not my head. <laughs> no peeking. Can you do his, you do his head? <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like? Disgusting worm creatures. Now let's get those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. Well, those are little mealworm snacks. And spaghetti and meatballs. I can finally find a safe spot. A safe spot? <laughs> what are you hiding from? The bugs. And now back to Martin Van Buren. Next question is for Eton. Van Buren and Jackson started a system to appoint their supporters to government positions. What was the name of this system? A, spoil system, B, buddy system, C, party system. A, spoil system. That is correct. The answer is spoil system. Through the spoil system, Jackson and Van Buren appointed loyal supporters to important positions in the government. Some believe that this led to incompetent officials getting government jobs just because they were loyal to Jackson. Jackson's supporters argued that this was a way to replace corrupt officials in the establishment. Yes, yes, yes. No. Sauerkraut. No, please. It's like stringy, wormy, sour, nasty, yuckiness. I, 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 I found a meatball. I could smell it. No, Take no, a smell. No, no, Take no. a little whiff. I can already smell it from where it is before. Here we go. <laughs> and nice little plop. <laughs> Did it splash you? That's probably better than the bugs. And a little bit here. Let's add some little pizzazz that's, that's to these crackers. Ew. Now you're grossed out? I thought you thought it was yummy. Ew. And once again, I need a favor, buddy. Get that off of me, please. <laughs> Next question is for Josiah. Van Buren had many nicknames based on things like where he was from, his skills, and even his failures. Name one of his nicknames. Old Kinderhook. That is correct. The answers could be Little Magician, Sly Fox, Old Kinderhook, OK, or Martin Van Ruin. Van Buren was a brilliant political strategist and organizer, leading his friends to nickname him the Little Magician and the Sly Fox. Others referred to him as Old Kinderhook, or OK for short, in reference to him being from Kinderhook, New York. And after losing popularity as president due to the Panic of 1837, his critics nicknamed him Martin Van Ruin. You're a little young to be shaving, aren't you? I want it shaved. You will someday. You want it in your hands? Yes. <laughs> it's the Eiffel Tower. Gotta keep your hands in the bowl. It's gonna be a pickly Eiffel Tower soon. I want it that. It's a nice shaving <laughs> foam. Can you and add that to me? a little bit on your shoulders. No, <laughs> just a little bit. It smells good. How about this side? Make it nice and proportional. A little in your hair. Nice little hat for you. Oh! <laughs> there's a lot in that small can. There is. Since there's so much, I'll grant your wish. <laughs> on the cracker. <laughs> Next question is for Eton. What major economic event happened during Van Buren's presidency? A, great oil shock, B, Great Depression, or C, Panic of 1837? C, Panic of 1837. That is correct. C, Panic of 1837. Just two months after Van Buren took office, the Panic of 1837 broke out. Banks across the country collapsed, businesses went bankrupt, and workers everywhere lost their jobs. Many Americans blamed Van Buren for the panic, which contributed to his defeat in the 1840 presidential election. You look excited for another mess. Dog food. No, I'm thinking human food this time. Mystery egg. Mystery egg. Oh, can I get some? Do you think it's a real egg or a fake egg? It's I'm a hoping fake it's egg. both. Both? <laughs> Who knows? Can I have some? 
Final guesses? Uh, it's gonna be confetti. Real. It's gonna be the real. Let's see. Do you want it in your bowl or on the head? Bowl. Okay. One on the hand, one on the head. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! It is a real egg. Never mind, I don't want surprises. You sure? Thank you. Oh. Josiah, I appreciate you so much because <laughs> I do not want this mess on my hands. And for being such a great sport, Yay! here's some confetti for you too. Now it's time for the final question. And this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all the answer choices before hitting your buzzer. Final question. What financial system did Van Buren help create in response to the Panic of 1837? A, Federal Reserve. B, Department of Commerce. C, Independent Treasury. Looks like Josiah hit it first. Josiah, what's the answer? C, Independent Treasury. <laughs> Correct. That is correct. The answer is independent treasury. President Van Buren proposed an independent treasury system to manage the nation's money. This would replace the National Bank, which some blamed for the Panic of 1837. In 1840, Congress passed the Independent Treasury Act and Van Buren signed it into law. Welcome back to Xavier's Bakery, where we all know that I cannot bake. But today, I think we should break a world record. This is going to be the tallest whipped cream pie of all time. It's falling. That should be the record, right? No, no more. No? More. All of it. All the whipped cream. All of it? All of it. All of it. Oh, no, it's overflowing. Ah. <laughs> That's world record for most whipped cream on a pie, I think. It absolutely is. You're a part of history today, just like Martin Van Buren. See, after this, can I get pie in the face too? You have way too many nasty things in your bowl for you to be asking for a pie next to. Some nice chocolate drizzle. That looks delicious. And couldn't have a world record pie without chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> can I have a countdown, please? Five, four, three, Two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Is it good? Yeah. It probably tastes better than the shaving foam. <laughs> Here's what we learned. Martin Van Buren was the eighth president of the United States. Working together with Andrew Jackson, he helped create the modern political party. As president, Van Buren became unpopular because of the Panic of 1837. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is... Etan! On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yes. Awesome. For being such great sports, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Oh, I'm scared to say this, but now, shake hands. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. I don't even want to say a high five. Let's hold your horses. No, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.